Hi, I'm Jonathan Wild, and today we're covering how to compute the acid test ratio. The acid test ratio is a useful tool to measure a company's ability to pay off its current liabilities using its most liquid assets, or those assets that can easily be converted to cash. To calculate the acid test ratio, you'll need to add up the company's cash and cash equivalents, short-term investments, and current receivables, and then divide that amount by the company's current liabilities. Let's break this down with an example. Assume a company has cash and cash equivalents of 10,000, short-term investments of 20,000, current receivables of 70,000, and current liabilities of 80,000. Now, to compute the acid test ratio, we first add up the cash and cash equivalents of 10,000, short-term investments of 20,000, and current receivables of 70,000 to get us 100,000. Next, we divide by current liabilities of 80,000. This gives us an acid test ratio of 1.25. Now, what does this number tell us? An acid test ratio of 1.25 means that the company has enough quick assets to cover its current liabilities and that it's in a fairly good liquidity position. Anything less than 1.0 raises some concerns unless the company has some other way to quickly generate cash. So there you have it. The acid test ratio is a nice tool for assessing a company's ability to meet its short-term obligations.